everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a favorites video so if you want to see what i've been loving recently then keep watching so first things first i hope you're all doing really well um i'm not too bad thank you <laughs> I, I feel like we're having a conversation you might not have even wanted to know but i'm all right i'm all right um it is nearly the end of february which is crazy to me so it's tuesday the 27th today and i thought you know what i've not done a favorites video in a while and um, there are a few things that i'd actually really like to share with you and i always have to double check and look at the last one that i've done to make sure i've not mentioned them before and make sure i've got a good variation of things to share um as you know like i love a bit of beauty and skincare so that's obviously going to feature in this um but i'm chat about like telly and things like that as well so if you are keen then this might be for you so the first thing that i'm going to start just because it's such a simple thing but it makes me happy every single day and it's this little mug and um, i shared this in my b m haul and i just think it's adorable but you know with mugs sometimes you can you can buy them and they look really cool and you know they're very instagrammable there's that near there but then when you go to drink out of them maybe they're a bit too thick maybe they're a bit of an awkward shape maybe they don't hold a big brew whereas this i feel is not only is it just really simple and cute but it's also like a good size easy to drink out of and this is just what i've been reaching for every single morning when i have my coffee and it makes me smile and it was super cheap as well so i just thought i would share that because if you're in the market for a mug or maybe like you wanted to do like a little like um hamper or something for mother's day something like that then um i'd be really chuffed you know like if if someone made like you got a little hamper you put like a mug in um maybe their favorite coffee if they've got a coffee machine or like hot chocolate or something like that or their favorite tea and um, some little like nibbles like just your favorite snacks maybe a little face mask and a bunch of flowers something like that that'd just be such a cute little gift for mother's day the next favorite that i've got is also kind of like a home item and i haven't got loads of stuff like this because to be honest i've not really been out much i've not really been like even focused on many things for obvious reasons with everything that's happened over the last month or so um but this obviously i've still been cleaning my house every week um and this febreze air mist in peony and cedar is such a pretty scent and i just really really enjoy it are you going to focus camera there we go it's this one i'm sure i've probably just picked it up at b&m or something like that which reminds me i need to go to b&m or home bargain soon because we're running low this is pretty much empty um on things like this but um i just think it's a really pretty scent and it's a limited edition one i'm assuming for like the springtime so if you see it get a little sneaky spray when you're in the shops and see if it's for you um because this is my favorite and i will buy that again um and now I'm going to move on to body skincare type stuff. And the first thing, oh my goodness, I have to share this with you because it is so nice. Now, I'm pretty sure that we've all had a sniff of a Sol de Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro, there we go, um, body spray before. Um, but this, it says, just because this will explain it better than I ever can, share the warmth of a sunset with uplifting notes of vanilla orchid, sugared violet and sheer sandalwood. Now, I love sandalwood and I've really noticed that. I'm a big vanilla scent anyway. And I thought, violet, can get on board with that it's probably going to be that kind of like maybe palmer violety scent this is hands down my favorite like all the other ones can get in the bin because this is superior to me it reminds me a bit of kali vanille i think it is um which is a really nice perfume that i've had before but it's just such a nice one because it's plastic you can chuck it in your bag and just have it like on the go you know like when you want to just freshen up and if you wear like vanilla scents anyway it's just a really nice one to have but i'm obsessed with it so it's number 59 it's quite um you know distinguishable by the fact that it's the only one that's really this shade a lot of the rest are like yellowy pink colors um but i that is really good well, my light has just run out of battery i was trying to like make sure it was a little bit brighter for you because it's quite a dreary uh, day today but hopefully that's not 
two different i'm so sorry um but yeah this is just really lovely and i think you'll like it if you're into similar scents to me um you like that warmth you like a vanilla but you don't like it to be too young i like i kind of like warm cozy sexy vanillas rather than like super 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 sweet and floral really really pretty um the next thing that i i've waited a long time to share this i think i got this must have been just after christmas like before new year um because there was a sale you know like the minute christmas day is over and then all the online sales go on for like boxing day sales and stuff like that um and it's the glow for it lash growth serum and um, i've used lash growth serums before i think i've used like is it revita lash or rapid lash i've used a few of them over the years um and i would say like a lot of them do a relatively good job but one thing that i've been reading up is that some have certain ingredients in that can actually not be very good for the health of your eyes and can sometimes like encourage shedding and stuff and that kind of freaked me out a bit and then i saw quite a lot of talk about this one um and it doesn't involve those ingredients so i've been using it like every night really so i take my makeup off it looks like this focus for me there we go um so it just has a little fine brush on the end and um my lashes at the moment are huge now i have a mascara that i'm going to go and talk about in a little moment as well um but the combination of them together is just like stunning so if i get really close up like i've not even put coat after coat after coat this is like two coats of mascara so that will kind of sell the mascara which i'll come to i'll come to um but my lashes are just so long and you can see it's not just my top one it's, it's my bottom ones and i do have naturally like fairly long lashes anyway but i just feel like they're epic at the moment and i'm really really chuffed with them so that if you are you know wanting to grow your lashes a little bit more or thicken them or help them feel a bit healthier and um, i do really really think think that this works um and then the I'll, I'll go on to the other two skincare things and then i'll show you the mascara i promise because i like to do things like in the categories the next thing that i really enjoyed this is an empty i've got a couple of empties going on today and um, it's the inky list bioactive ceramide repairing and plumping moisturizer and as you can see we cleaned it out there is nothing in there I really, really, really liked this product. And what's really annoying is that I wanted to buy it again, but I wanted to buy it on ASOS because I've got Premier. Um, and obviously it'd be like cheaper for delivery. And I don't really like, it's not like I'm like out near like big boots and stuff every day. Um, but it's out of stock on there at the moment. But it is so nice. And another thing that I like about the Inky List range is that on every product, can you see here that there's like an order and it will tell you what category it falls under which really really helps you work out the order in which you're meant to use stuff so if you're very new to say acids and things like that um it's just so foolproof and there's not another brand for me that does that and makes it so clear um i really really rate them i know a lot of people like the ordinary but for me inky list is superior um and i just found this to be really really nice quality it had a similar sort of texture to me um to the charlotte tilbury magic cream like quite thick and creamy but not to the point where when you put it on your skin it's super super dense and takes ages to go in but just the consistency was a really like solid cream um, and went in really nicely and i would definitely use that again i really enjoyed it and i've gone back to using like just other things that i've got in at the moment but they're not hitting the spot as much as this was especially given the weather at the moment where my skin typically will you know be a little bit drier um over the winter months just because the weather's so crap isn't it um so if you have wondered about that as well i really rate it um it had big plumping claims i don't really know like i think my skin's been looking really good at the moment and i have missed using it so i can only really speak from like my perspective but i i just thought it was a really really decent cream i think it's around the 15 pound mark or so um which isn't the cheapest in the world but it was very very good quality and i do really rate that so now oh no one more skincare thing one more one more um 
I've been trying out a lot of like hype products at the moment because I see them and I think, do you know what? Like if I have a gap in things that I need, like I didn't have any facial tanner, um, I've been trying them out and thinking like, oh, I'll just report back and actually see if they're any good. Uh, Coco and Eve, the Sunny Honey Spray, it's the Antioxidant Face Tanning Micro Mist. This has been doing the rounds. Um, so I thought I'm gonna give it a go. I'll pick it up, see if I like it. And I really, really like this one. Now, the one that I used to use previously was the Saint Tropez, you know, the spray one. Um, it's got like kind of like a ombre, clear and like aqua blue bottle. I forget what it's called. Um, but the only issue with that I find is that I really, really like it. I love the product. I think it does what it says it should on the tin. But sometimes it can break me out. And I've got really funny skin in that sense on my face. Um, so I thought I would try this because a lot of people were saying that it wasn't really a problem for them in that way and I have to say like it's really really good and I've just been putting this on like uh, in the evening after I've done like moisturizing and finished all the rest of my skincare I finish off with a quick spritz of that and then I will do my lashes sorry I just had to have a little like sniffly cough break there's coughs and colds and all sorts going around at the moment and all week my family like last week have been coughing spluttering and for once and I don't know how I've managed it I was absolutely fine I was thinking oh my god look at me immune system is on the up finally and then no this this week i've got it so that's nice anyway mascara this is new i only tried it yesterday and i had to put it in this video that's how strongly i feel about it so obviously all of these products unless i've said otherwise i've purchased with my own money and um, and this is doing the rounds it's the latest release from l'oreal it's the l'oreal panorama mascara volume million lashes um I got a deal on, I think it was TikTok shop, where you could get the black and the brown for just under £20 free delivery. But then if you just got one, it was going to be like £12.99 plus like £3.99 delivery. So I girl math and just thought, I'll get two. Which I actually am glad because I do use brown and I do use black mascara. Um, just depends what kind of mood I'm in or what kind of makeup look I've done. So today I have the black on. And as I showed you before, I just think that this is brilliant and it's not just reflective of like my lashes being longer at the moment because I've been using other mascaras and I've not felt as wild as I have with this and I am really stingy with mascaras like if it's not good enough I will not buy it again like I'm really really fussy but as you can see they are just so long and thick and like they are it really keeps the shape really well like I don't curl my lashes but I imagine if you curled them it would hold them quite nicely and like you can see they're just so uh, it's so good it's so lengthening and thickening and like my lashes feel better at the moment without anything on but they're still really fair they're like really ashy and ashy brown that is so you can hardly see them when i've not got makeup on and i put this on and i'm like wow and i was really impressed really impressed so the packaging first off looks like this i think it's pretty beautiful quite nice that isn't it it's quite luxe for a drugstore um and then this is the brush which if you're like me, I know you'll want to see the brush. So it's tapered and it is a plastic one, but I find like the tapered end is really good for getting in like these bits here and like doing your bottom lashes. But oh my God, it's, it's really good. I feel like this is in danger of like selling out good, um, at least if you're getting online. So I can really recommend that because I think it's fantastic. And then finally with like makeup and stuff, I feel like I've mentioned this on Instagram a few times. Maybe I've mentioned, part of the combo before on here but the lip combo that i am currently wearing i'm just obsessed with like i i haven't changed it for weeks or at least in this case months so the first two i'm sure i've mentioned these on here before but it's the doll beauty um lipstick i've got the lipstick shade in my love and then it's the liner in you go girl so obviously i'm wearing it on my lips at the moment um but just for reference i'll just mark them on my hand because i just think they look so good together so this is the lip liner and that is the lipstick and together I kind of like align my lips kind of smudge it into 
the center of my lip a little bit very lightly then i'll go in with the lipstick which is great as a matte option anyway but then and this looks really lurid but it's so pretty i feel like i need to sort of like make it look like it does on my lips right okay so this is kind of this is the lip combo on my lips it would probably be blended a little bit better. And then I've got this lip glow oil, which is just a really cheap one. It's a Jeep of the Dior lip oils. Um, and this was from TikTok Shop. And then I just put this over the top. And it's just so pretty. I feel like it's like dewy. It's, this is obviously what it looks like on my lips versus like my hand because I have a natural tint to my lips. But it's just my favourite little combo. And I wear it all the time. And I feel like it's put together enough to make me feel good but then equally at the same time I just feel like it still looks like pretty and fresh and not like really really heavy lip but I'm obsessed it even looks pretty on my hand and um, so that is my absolute fave as well I will try and leave everything linked down below and then before I get on to things that I've been watching on the telly I've been watching a bit more telly at the moment and I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second but two things that i'm really really pleased about um just sort of like little choices that i've made it's only two um the gym obviously i am finally doing it i am doing it and i am getting back to where i want to be and obviously i'm gonna do like my monthly update thing that i mentioned like started like earlier on this year about like where i'm at and like progressing throughout the year and like looking at the year as a continuation rather than like just having all these goals that i have to complete by december i want to look at it month by month um but i'm i'm really starting to see a difference i'm starting to see a difference massively in my face um so i just feel like i'm getting like more definition back in my face and i've been told that and um, both like online or in person clothes um so much of my wardrobe that like i've been able to fit in but i've just not felt confident in at all or some things just haven't really fit nicely um if at all to be honest like i'm able to get back in everything um my sports bra is getting too loose now so i'm on the lookout i've been ordering a few um like bits and bobs online but i've not found anything that i love yet so if anyone's got any recommendations for like sports gear that isn't super super spenny um let me know because i'm definitely i really want a decent sports bra because the one that i have now just isn't giving me enough support because it's too big what i'm really really glad that i'm doing is that i'm doing it in a way that feels good for me and i like have no clue what i weigh I have no interest in knowing um, but what I do know is that like I'm starting to feel it and that's just making me feel so good and I started work back in October and I just I can't actually tell you how quickly that's gone and I think what I was victim of initially with all of this sort of stuff was that I was starting and I was expecting these instant results that just weren't going to happen overnight but I've been consistent and it's really starting to show and I feel so good and um, so if you've been on the fence about starting something like that for a while or anything for a while whatever it might be honestly like consistency has just been so key for me and I love it I go four times a week without fail and it is just it's been honestly like life changing for me. And then the other thing, I keep being really mindful now that I'm just gonna like smear lip products everywhere, is that um, you'll, it's funny actually, I was watching my last favorites video and I was talking about my hair and how like long my hair was and I hadn't had it cut yet. And I was saying like, you know how like I've got like this, it's thicker up here and then I've got this really thin bit. Um, I, when I did go to the hairdressers, I ended up getting all the thin bit cut off. I just said to her, like, let's just do it. It's going to be shorter than what I would like. I don't really like short hair on me like this. I don't know. I just feel like it ages me a bit too much in a way that I'm just not ready for yet. Maybe when I get older, who knows? But right now, I prefer it longer on me. And we cut off all the dead hair. And then just my hair has been so much better ever since. So if you've got straggly bits and you're clinging on to them for length let me echo the words of what your hairdresser would probably say and just say like cut them off go for it because i already feel like my hair's growing back um 
and I've only, when did I have it caught? It was January after the kids went back. It was before my granddad passed away. I think it was the same week. Um, so it'll have been like maybe the 10th or something of January. And honestly, since then, my hair is in such best quality. Another thing that I was struggling with was at the back, I had this weird bit at the back of my neck that like, if my hair was like a straight line normally, like it is at the front, like it's like this, there would be a bit in the middle at the back of my head where it would be like thinner and like shorter. And gentle, it might be the bubbles that I was using, you know, those invisible bubbles, which to be fair, if I'm being brutally honest, when I take them out, you know, like when you pull a bit of hair out because they're great for not leaving dents, but then you do snag your hair with them because it gets caught up in the spiral so she was like why don't you try using like a silk scrunchie or something so i brought a cheap pack of silk scrunchies online that that exact day like while i was sat in the hairdresser chair and they're only from amazon they're not like the cutest or best quality in the world and to be honest i wouldn't really be wearing them out in public as like a fashion choice but I've noticed that my hair does feel like just so much better and these do seem to be like looking after them a little bit better at night. So I would strongly, strongly recommend that if you've been feeling stubborn about your hair recently, get the shop and you will not be disappointed. Um, and then finally, television. I've been watching more telly um, or like Netflix, I suppose, and things like that, because when I am at the gym, because of the new machines and stuff now, um, I'm able to put my phone on the machines properly and I can see it. So I've been watching like series on Netflix. So um, one that I really enjoyed is um, called Angela Black. That was just one that came up as a recommendation for me and I watched that and it was like a little like UK thriller type thing. Um, trigger warning it does feature like domestic abuse though so if that's something that would be uncomfortable for you in any way then like obviously don't watch that but that was really good I can recommend that I just felt like it passed the time and each episode was about 45 minutes long or so so I could just watch it quite easily because that's about the time I spend on the cross trainer and then obviously I can't talk about anything to do with telly unless I talk about one day now we've not finished it yet and I have seen the film but the series for me, I don't know if it's just because you get a little bit more time with the characters and you get to enjoy their progression more, but I've really, really, really enjoyed it. And I love Ambi Kamad. I think she's just incredible. She's so beautiful. And I just think it's, oh, it's such a good watch. Now, we've not finished it yet, so please don't spoil it. Even though I have read the book and I have seen the movie, I can't remember like everything and its intricate details. So just like, hold off for me okay but I think we're going to finish it the weekend because Mark was like I want to save it and like enjoy it so that's what we're going to do um but it's so so good um and then the final thing was um True Detective the night what's it called the night I was going to say in the night garden but that's something completely different entirely the night something I'll leave it linked down below or like I'll put a little like picture of it on the screen now but um that I really liked it Mark was like it's a bit of a slow burner and it was initially but I like a slow burner because I like trying to work things out on my own but the ending was something that you wouldn't really expect um and what I really like about True Detective is that they have this like aura of supernatural about them but it's not always the ending isn't always what you're going to expect it to be based on that um and that's all i'm going to say so like if you're a bit wary of anything a bit supernatural give it a chance because it's much more than that um but i really really enjoyed that and i've loved all three true detectives but yeah that is really worth watching too and yeah i think that is everything that i've got to share so if you've got any recommendations for me if there's any more like telly stuff or something that you think that I would enjoy while I'm at the gym um you know just to watch for me uh let me know and um, I feel like I should have gotten bored with like married at first sight uh because everybody's talking about it at the moment but am I too far behind now because it's all over like social media isn't it but if you've got any suggestions for anything at all that you think I'd like or anyone watching would like like leave them down below and yeah have a lovely rest of your day and I will hopefully see you all very very soon Bye.